Radhe Radhe everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. And you are all reading Bhagavad Gita. Writing Bhagavad Gita. Studying, contemplating. And doing all that good stuff. Now, I have been keeping up with this. But there is absolutely no time for me to um, film videos. It has been very very busy. So today we are going to get caught up. Um, for today's verse now as I went writing um, as of day before yesterday on the 19th uh, I started chapter 2 I have completed all 47 in chapter 1 and while I did that I had also pointed out that I will be having um, those verses that contain uh, Bhagwan's names and unique names. Of course, there are repetitions uh, of certain names, Madhusudana and all Madhav and all that. So, I will only take names that are unique and just tab them. And then we will also um, study the meaning of the name. Achuta, we said, uh, is one who never lets you slip. And the next one was Hrishikesha. Who is the controller of senses, including senses of Brahma, Rudra and other deities. Also means lord of the race, sun and moon. And he is lord of senses and also he cannot be uh, obtained by or understood by senses. That's one more thing where you can look at. But mainly this uh, Hrishi is senses. So it's also interesting to note in Lalita Sahasranama, the Divine Mother is Panchatan Matra Sayaka. She is also a leader or a container or controller of the five senses. So it's speaking of the same Paravastu or Paramatma who is actually the controller of all senses. So today's verse would be 2-3. Let's see what it says. And I'll, I'll do this as I am able to. Um, even though it takes only a few minutes to write, it doesn't take a few minutes to film, number one, and post, number two. And filming has to happen when others are not around and I sit here and write, which is rare. I'm everywhere in the house and I, I make sure I write it. It doesn't matter to me where I am while I write. So, it's, it's not conducive for filming and that's why I had a wrong idea of, um, I thought I could post every day. It seems like that was just a mistake to assume that I was able to. So, three, do not yield to unmanliness, O son of Pritha, it does not become you. Shake off this base faint-heartedness and arise, O scorcher of enemies. This comes after uh, he says that I cannot fight. And the last verse in the for, 47th verse in the last chapter was, Sanjaya said, Arjuna having spoken thus on the battlefield, cast aside his bow and arrow and sank down on his chariot seat, his mind overcome with grief. And then Lord says, well, what is wrong with you? So, do not... Yield to unmanliness, O son of Pritha. It does not become you. Shake off. This base faint heartedness and arise, O oh, scorcher of enemies. That was today's verse. Let me go back to the calendar. 
Let's say today is done. Two, three. I hope um, you like this quick catch up and I will meet you soon with more videos. Until then, Radhe Radhe.